everything the light touches is in my kingdom. That's, that's the wrong movie. That's the wrong, wrong movie. Oh, um, be our guest. I can breathe again. Well, everybody, welcome to Movie Herd. Uh, my name is Kyle. And I'm Chan. Also known as the Beast. Beast. Holy crap, that is a spider. spider. Wow, that thing is wicked fast. It just leaped off the one platform to another. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Today, we'll, we'll be talking about Beauty and the Beast that came out this year, March... 2017. Yep, March 2017 with Emma Watson. And the other people. <laughs> yes. I actually don't know anybody else's name other than Emma Watson who's in this. I know. Uh, Luke Evans is um, Gaston. Kevin Klein is Emma Watson's dad. Dan Stevens is the Beast, I believe. Yes. I think that's yes. right. Yes, yeah. I know him. He's a very good actor. It's, it's funny because... Um, we're usually we usually agree on a lot of things, but this is one I think we're gonna have butt a little heads on. I did not like this movie that much. In fact, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. Like that's how much I didn't. Like, and I loved it. I like the original better. Yeah. The I mean, obviously the original is probably better, but like I I I like the original so much more that I just didn't buy it. Didn't want it. Uh, and I'm a huge Emma Watson fan, and when I heard she was casted, I was so excited. So was I. I mean, so yeah, I'm I. sure you were. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's my forever crush. Yeah, and I mean, when I heard her, I, I mean, I think she's breathtaking in the role. Like, she's Blake. She's the books. She was book smart in Harry Potter, and she's book smart in this movie too. It's just perfect. I think she fit the role. Yeah. The only thing that bugged me about her was. She sounded auto tuned. There were some other things. I like the I like the last half of it a lot better than the first half because the first half, if you're making a live action movie, make it look real. The whole city, to me, like the village that she lives in, mm -hmm. looked way too set. Like yeah. it looked way too manufactured and and too perfect, too reason. too cartoony. Yeah. To be honest, okay. it just looked too cartoony for me. The dance scene I thought could have been filmed a little bit better. The room felt smaller than it sh could than it should be, or it actually was. They were really close on things. Uh, what I'm talking about is, I wish that they just completely copied the original cartoon, where they filmed it from an imposing angle, and you can get like the 16 chapel esque ceiling that we had in the original cartoon. It was beautiful and it's grand and it was huge and it felt like we were in a huge room. When in the same scene for this one didn't feel the same because they they didn't really do a lot of the same shots. It was like a lot of it was like kind of like flat. You know what I mean? Like so that was be one of my only things is I thought the cartoon did better with the iconic dancing scene. I can agree with that. Yeah. I, I mean, I think on one hand, one reason why they didn't put something like that in there is because it was in the cartoon, and they didn't want to make a shot for shot. But they could have done something a bit more grand. Yeah, it could. Cause film, yeah, impose, make them imposing, make it get some of that ceiling. And, and honestly, they probably didn't even have a ceiling. <laughs> That's probably why they didn't film that. Well, I'm wondering how much of that of that like uh, ballroom was actually CGI. Oh, yeah, I think a bunch. I'm bunch pretty sure quite a bit was. Yeah. I mean, I'd be surprised if it was mostly set. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd be really surprised. It wasn't It wasn't a bad movie, per se. Mm -hmm. There was just enough about it that bugged me that made me not want to get it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people enjoyed it. A lot of people will enjoy it who haven't seen it yet and will watch it. They'll enjoy it because it is entertaining. Mm -hmm. There was just enough for me that I didn't like it. It's definitely its own thing. It's its own movie. There's like plenty of new, brand new um, uh, musical numbers that were made for the film. Uh, Beast gets a musical number, which that didn't happen in the cartoon. That's great. That was awesome. It that was, was really tragic cool. and sad scene. It reminded me of a little bit of Fan of the Opera, which was awesome. Like just this tragic character um, that uh, is is uh, has a hard time finding love. You know, it was just very, it was great. Oh, Ewan McGregor is the candle. Um, he was, uh, he's great in that, in that role. How intimidating would that be to uh, <laughs> be the candle? And because that's one of the most iconic parts of the original. 
Um, and we all know that boy, be our guest, you know, it's just, and, and, and Ewan McGregor did a good job and he's, he doesn't, it also helps that he's one of my favorite actors. So <laughs> I think I'm going to say he does a good job in everything probably, but <laughs> I think he could have been in it more to be honest, Yeah, um, but I liked him too. And he's one of my favorite actors. I mean, <laughs> I, I've seen some of his stuff that I haven't quite liked, but, uh, it's not my favorite movie of his. Mm. I think other than Star Wars, <laughs> yeah. I think maybe Big Fish might be my favorite of his because mm-hmm. it's a very underrated movie and it's actually really good. Um, but he was good in this. He was yeah. good. Oh, yeah. And, he, and I wish he was in it more. I think um, my only the only thing I would add if I directed this would be like a sword fight between <laughs> Beast and Gaston. <laughs> I was disappointed there wasn't one. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be awesome. I mean, it was or more of a it was, tussle. It was still a pretty got. good ending yeah. to that, but I mean, it, it would have been better with a with a sword fight. <laughs> yeah, any everything's better with a sword fight. Everything's better. Well, no, everything's yeah. better yeah. with a sword fight. Yeah, Except I think that should uh, that should be a shirt. I should make that. Except everything's maybe, better with a sword. Except fight. for maybe Finding Nemo probably wouldn't be that much better. No, there's sword fish in it, and they do sword fight. Oh, yeah. There, no. yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I was proven wrong. Yeah. We really enjoyed this film, and he really the, enjoyed the film. I really enjoyed it. Yes. Oh, I enjoyed yeah. it. Oh, enough. I guess. Yeah, he enjoyed it enough. Enough. We have a question for all of you. Did you like the movie or the cartoon more? 2017 or the 1992? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. You know what's sad? I feel like I feel like I cut off Beast's head and I'm like playing with it now like i've got it <laughs> no i love you beast love him so much you want to you want to put his head in a mantle yeah that yeah. sounds like more like somebody else from the movie gaston